Hey everyone, it's Evie B from HMSDaily.com. Welcome to another edition of the Nintendo NX concept and discussion videos. Like in the previous videos, the discussion will revolve around the potential possibilities of the much rumoured Nintendo NX game system. If you haven't seen the previous videos, then please take the time to check them out as it helps to keep the topic of this video in context. Just as a reminder, these concepts are designed to illustrate the potential possibilities that the Nintendo NX systems could offer. So without further ado, let's begin. In the last video, we got an idea of how the additional screen rumour could be visually represented. But I still think the design could be taken a little bit further. Looking back at the additional screen attachment, the first thing that may have popped into the minds of most viewers is that they wished that the screen attachment could bend or fold, like the DS and 3DS, and that's something that's been playing on my mind. But looking at the NX controller concept's design, it doesn't seem feasible. In order for the screen to fold to a close, we would need to remove the thumbstick as its protrusion would prevent the screen from closing. This would mean that for the sake of the design, the thumbstick would have to be replaced with thumb pads in order to allow the face panel to be as flat as possible. So a few minor changes had to be made. Now whilst I was developing how this additional screen would work, I couldn't help but miss the thumbsticks. Don't get me wrong, I do like using thumb pads, but I tend to feel better for portable gaming, whilst thumbsticks, for my personal preference, tend to feel better for more home console style gaming. And that's what got me thinking. What if there was a way to accommodate both styles of play, especially as I know there's an audience for both sets of control schemes? So here's what I came up with. As you can see, both sets of control schemes are present and applied in a manner that suits both play styles. And I'd also like to point out that this is an attachment, so reverting back to the original control scheme is also an option. I think we got a good representation of how this could work. And although providing this additional functionality was not part of the rumor, I do believe it was worth investigating nevertheless. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about that. If there are any other features that you would like to see that's not been stated, also let us know in the comment section. I will try to create more rendered images in relation to the series to support the discussion and place in the links to the high-res images in the description below. You can check them out at The Collective on www.hmsdaily.com and for those who want to use any of the images for their own channel or discussions, you can do so, but please credit me and the HMS Daily website, as your feedback will help me produce more content. If you like what you've seen, want to be notified when the next video is live, or just want to get involved in the discussion, click the subscribe button and feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you again for watching my videos. I'm Evie B from HMSDaily.com and I'm signing out.